Today different location. Here I'm just uh, uh, filming this video from my kitchen. It's a wonderful day here in Tenerife and I'm going to share with you a book that uh, I've read. Actually I'm listening to it. It was an audible book. Sometimes I listen already in Italian version, sometimes I listen already in, uh, in English. This one was in Italian and the book was uh, by Stephen Covey. It's the seven habits of highly effective people and it was quite interesting. Over the last two weeks I listened to it two times. The first one just uh, uh, listening and the second one uh, I uh, grab also some notes because it's a very very powerful uh, uh, book with powerful information that I'm going to share with you because uh, these habits uh, it's uh, uh, Stephen Covey, it, it was an educator, uh, an American educator. Uh, it was a I cannot speaker, and this book sold uh, over than 50 million copies. It's, uh, it was a really, really famous and well known uh, author, and uh, I think it's uh, uh, really important to understand those uh, uh, seven habits that can help us to become successful in every aspect of life, essentially. Uh, life that uh, in include business too. So every kind, every aspect of life, uh, we can become successful. Just following some rules that at the end, uh, it's, I'm going to share something that uh, for me was uh, really interesting that emerged uh, uh, at the end of this, uh, um, these uh, seven habits. So let's dive deep. The first one is, uh, I took some notes because I don't want to uh, forget something. So sometimes I have my iPad here just to um, don't miss out anything. The first one was uh, being proactive. Proactive means that uh, we should be self-responsible. We should be responsible of our own action and we, then, we have no to stick the finger to this, to that, to anybody else. Absolutely we have to take responsibility of ourselves, our action, our thinking, our reasoning. The second habit is uh, begin with uh, it's when you have uh, um, when you you should uh, have a clear idea uh, of uh, your end goal and uh, once you have uh, a clear idea of your end goal you can set down all the road all the steps you have to go through planning in order to reach intermediate milestone that leads you up to this end goal otherwise if you don't have too much clarity what you want to achieve uh, essentially it's quite difficult for you to nail down some road that can lead you up where nowhere if you have no clarity about that okay and then the third one is uh, it's uh, it's important it's uh, really imp one of the I think one of the main habits important because uh, he said uh, first thing first so he divided some task in uh, on four quadrants and uh, quadrants that uh, uh, in which we have to do some task in which we have to plan them in which we have to delegate them and which we have to eliminate them for example in the first one when we have uh, to do this uh, task uh, are the task urgent and important so we have to do them then the second quadrant is uh, when we have to plan when uh, uh, things are not urgent but important and this is uh, the second quadrant when uh, uh, when we should plan uh, everything the third one is when things are urgent but not important but not important means that we can delegate and the last one where things are not urgent and not important means we should eliminate uh, essentially 
we, uh, we could tell, uh, talk about uh, spare time, but it's quite important also to enjoy our spare time to, to get some relax. Then uh, the fourth one is uh, um, a thinking, a win-win thinking. A win-win thinking is uh, when we should promote uh, um, a mutual beneficial agreement uh, in which all the actors uh, of the agreement uh, has to win. Uh, yes or uh, yes or yes has to win. It, this is an agreement, this is the best agreement in which every part win something. The fifth one is, uh, let's see, I don't remember, okay. The first one, um, it's when you should develop essentially some empathy because you should first understand and then be understood and how you can how you can solve can able to solve situation if you for example don't understand some member of your family if you don't understand someone in your friendship if you don't understand someone in your uh, work environment you should develop some empathy in order to understand them first and then be understood then we have the um, the sixth one is when we have to make some synergy synergy means uh, in our team uh, that uh, could be a uh, teamwork could be a uh, team in our friendship in our family we should make some synergy we should uh, combine some strength because uh, no one else can handle uh, things by uh, being alone because uh, i can be good in something so we should do i should combine my strength with uh, some other strength that my friends my teammate my um, uh, in, in my team in my in my in my job in my business uh, can develop in order to reach the goal fast and much more effective and then the last one is uh, i love this i love this the the last uh, habits the seventh habits it's uh, when we have to grow uh, but but we have uh, con continually grow and continually grow in uh, in just not in one aspect in uh, in the in the best aspect uh, in the mainly aspect um, we have we should grow mentally we should grow spiritually and of course we should take care of our body with some kind of exercises it's uh, mind body and spirits so mind body spirits a spirit it's um, it's something that balances the power of, uh, of ourselves. And then balancing them, uh, my um, thinking, and uh, when uh, in the beginning of this video was just uh, when I recap all that, was look, what you think about. Uh, going down to all these habits uh, the main thing that emerge is that we should balance in every aspect we should uh, balance think in any kind of aspect of our life think for example in the uh, in the um, develop some empathy we should first understand others and then be understood so we have to balance in the win-win agreement of course there is a balance between all the actors of the agreement could be any kind of agreement but there is a balance for example there is a balance in planning um, task for example there is a, a, a balance uh, with the all those kind of aspects in the last one when we have to grow uh, mentally spiritually and uh, in our body take care of our body everything 
it's uh, going down to a balanced situation. Think about it. So, becoming a highly effective, successful people in the meaning of a global life, life and business, means that we should uh, be balanced in, in every aspect. Think about it. It's uh, quite interesting. We should go to something, we should do acting uh, in a, some way, we should delegate, we should... We cannot concentrate everything to ourselves. We have to enjoy the environment. Environment that it should be an environment, uh, familiar environment, friendship environment, work environment, business environment, whatever. But uh, there is a, a common sense, common sense means uh, there is a, a common point. It's a balancing stuff, balancing action, balancing thinking. It's quite interesting. Hopefully that you can uh, uh, enjoy, it, could enjoy this uh, video. If you think uh, it's uh, quite enjoyable for your friends, share it. Uh, uh, share with your friends, uh, thumbs up, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you on the next one. Bye!